Hello kiddies and welcome to episode 10 of Techspert Weekly. Episode 10. I've done 10 episodes of this shower of shit and still people are watching. Seriously, what is actually wrong with all of you? I mean, I know you're basically stuck at home. You've got literally nothing better to do with your time. Go read a book, call your mum, enjoy some pornography, anything really. But now you've followed me on this journey for 10 full episodes, you're still watching me now, which means you're clearly committed. So I guess let's roll that jingle and get this show started. Techspert Weekly. Okay, so let's start as ever with this week's tech news. And it is a little bit thin on the ground uh, this week, just like my ever receding hairline. Uh, but a few interesting little bits have trickled out, just like those troublesome final drops as you tuck Mr. Happy away after a really satisfying wee. So first up, of course, some absolute heads have been going around setting fire to 5G masts, claiming that this fresh new technology is responsible for basically everything that's wrong with modern life, including that good old virus that's keeping us all housebound. Or all of these prize pillars actually thought they were setting fire to 5G masks. Turns out some of them weren't actually 5 g fied at all. And the problem here, no doubt, is that a lot of these raging f**kwits can't even count to five, let alone tell which ones are 5G and therefore are bad and need to be burned to the ground. Uh, in happier news though, earlier this week, TCL also revealed its fresh new range of 2020 smartphones would actually be coming to the UK. Great news. And hopefully they'll be hitting here by summertime. The TCL 10 Pro is the most show-offy of the three new handsets, boasting a 6.5 inch AMOLED screen, quad lens camera tech and respectable specs for just 400 quid. And you'll also be able to grab the TCL 10 5G for around the same cost, with some slightly slashed specs making up for that 5G support. Better just hope that those vigilante bellends haven't burned down all of the 5G infrastructure before it actually gets a chance to be released here. And last up of this bunch is the TCL 10L, a wallet-friendly blower costing just 200 quid. Yet you still get a quad lens rear cam, an HD already screen, and some very slick features. So stay tuned for more on this tasty trio of smartphones. Hopefully I'll be bringing you full reviews around sort of June, July time. And now it's time for the part of the show that would have even true masochists breaking out in hives. It's time for viewer comments. Whoop, whoop. Viewer comments. <coughs> so first up, there's been lots of correspondence about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, of course, which got mentioned in the previous show. Uh, still no official word from Sony on the actual launch date or anything like that. Here's hoping, fingers crossed, and everything else crossed as well uh, for around sort of May time. Uh, first comment of the week, in my opinion, Sony needs to be quick about the Xperia 1 Mark II or else it'll be too expensive when it gets released at full price compared to the OnePlus 8 or of course to a discounted S20, probably will be discounted given another couple of months or so. Um, yeah, it is true, the longer Sony leaves it, the less impressive it will be when it eventually arrives, especially as the first lot of Snapdragon 865 handsets are actually rolling out across the world now. Just got to hope that that camera tech is truly next level stuff to really smash all of the competition to bits. Uh, a couple of peeps interestingly asking me if I'd be tempted to do a live stream at all here on Techspert and the answer is a resounding yes. I've actually been looking for an excuse to do some kind of live stream because I used to do it all the time back in my Recombu days and I really enjoyed chatting with you fine folk of course and I reckon the OnePlus 8 launch next week is the perfect excuse to do one. I'll talk a bit more about it at the end of the show though when we'll discuss what's coming up in tech next week. Uh, next up for festival slash gig photos, low light and distance photos, videos and one handed mode as well. What budget blower should I buy? Currently thinking about the Realme 6 Pro. Um, yeah, low light is not a realm where obviously budget smartphones do particularly well in general. I'd say the Realme smartphones are one of the better ones out there. They've got a respectable night mode for your photos. Video, it's going to look grainy and crap, let's face it. It doesn't really matter what camera you shoot it with. Even most premium smartphones, they really struggle in low light. And uh, audio, it's probably going to be not amazing as well because you'll have people screaming and stuff all around you. My other recommendation would be the Moto G8 Plus. I found that night capabilities were generally pretty good, but again, on the video front. Mm, not amazing. Uh, next up, I'm a Chinese subscriber from Wuhan. Jesus f**k. He's <laughs> been complaining about being stuck in the house all day. This guy is living it in ground zero, man. Jesus. Really hope things are getting better there, buddy. Definitely uh, best wishes going out to you and to everyone else over there who's, who's still in an area that's heavily affected by all of the shiz that's going on. It's just crazy times. Fingers crossed. We'll be over the worst of it soon. Uh, the quarantine will be over soon. Can't wait to buy the new OnePlus 8 Pro. Uh, love your weeb shit post tech review. Uh, I've literally no idea what that means, uh, but thanks. Because uh, the North American audience is going to know what a trouser tent is. Uh, yeah, fair point. I don't know if, if my American cousins have, have actually heard that expression before. What would be the US equivalent? Like a, uh, a pants pole, maybe? 
Jeans joystick? Not really sure on that one. Uh, a couple of people asking about the Motorola Edge Plus. Uh, not a peep from Motorola about the Edge, unfortunately. What they have done uh, just in the previous week is launch the new Motorola G8 Power Lite. Things are starting to get a wee bit complicated in this whole G series arrangement now. Basically, the G8 Power Lite is what I expected the G8 Power to be. It comes in at under £200, so it's not clashing with the G8 Plus in that sort of £240 price bracket. Still got the mighty 5000mAh battery, but you also get a MediaTek chipset and a HD Plus screen instead of a Full HD Plus effort. So, those slightly more pared down specs hopefully will also mean that the bigger battery you'll get two to three days of life out of, rather than the sort of day and a half we got from the standard G8 Power. It's in the UK on the 15th, so stay tuned for an unboxing and full review. Fucking Motorola, man, keeping me busy, that's for goddamn sure. Uh, next up, Techspert is awesome. Thank you, I agree. Uh, where in the UK are you located? Um, so I used to be based up north and grew up up north and then moved down south and I've been down here for uh, 20 years. Sh that's depressing. And do you prefer the Xperia 1 II to the OnePlus 8 Pro? Uh, well, I can't say for sure until I've actually fully reviewed the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. I've literally just played with it for sort of a couple of hours uh, with a controlled environment. Um, fingers crossed, you know, it depends again on that. Like the camera tech, can it hold up to expectations? A similar question here as well. I'm so undecided, really like the Xperia 1 Mark II, or do I go P40 Pro? Uh, again, I can't give you my own personal opinion because I haven't played with the Xperia 1 Mark II anywhere near enough to see which one is going to be best for you. Of course, while we have P40 Pro doesn't have the Google services, that may well be the deciding factor for you. Uh, next up, really after Corona disaster, you still advertise Chinese things. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, I don't think that Xiaomi or Realme manufactured the virus or anything like that. I think blacklisting them might be a little bit harsh. I mean, what am I going to do? Just like stop eating Chinese food as well. Come on, man. I f***ing love the sh** out of chow mein. I could literally feast on those duck wrap things until my belly exploded, all right? Chinese food rocks. And of course, if I didn't review any phones that came out of China, that would basically mean that I wouldn't review any phones. Even a lot of iPhones are part manufactured in China. And final comment for the week, there's way too many budget phones on Techspert's channel. Um, come on, man. Somebody's got to review these things. All these other lazy YouTube are too busy comparing everything to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who commented last week. And really sorry, we only had time to get through a fraction of them. Unfortunately, time is really pressing at the moment because I'm busy preparing a lot lots of very sexy content about a certain launch that might be happening next week. I'm of course talking about the big OnePlus 8 launch is happening on Tuesday, April the 14th at 3 p.m. GMT time, it's UK time of course. Uh, so yeah, so a bit of OnePlus 8 action, maybe a OnePlus 8 Pro, maybe a OnePlus 8 Lite. Let's see what happens. So you can pop back here around sort of 5 p.m. time on that day, uh, just as the OnePlus 8 launch finishes basically, and a whole bunch of content will be going live right here on Techspert for your viewing pleasure. And as I mentioned before, kind of teased at. I will be doing a live stream that evening as well unless everything goes hideously wrong the entire world has basically ended by then. And the plan right now is to do that live stream at around 7 p.m. on the Tuesday evening so a couple of hours after my coverage goes live so you guys have got time to check that out if you want to obviously digest it and think of any questions you might want to ask me about the smartphones in question. And then basically crack open a beer, pop some corn and come and join me, ask me questions. Not necessarily about the OnePlus smartphones, you ask me whatever you want. It's uh, an open f***ing casket is, is basically what it's going to end up being. Me dying on my ass. So yeah, hopefully a good time will be had by all and can make it a more regular thing. So that's next Tuesday. And I've got some other bits going live. Hopefully we'll have, as I say, a full Moto G8 Power light unboxing for you as well. And uh, lots of other fun stuff. So please do smash your comments down below and I'll try and cover as many of those in Quickies next week. Not Quickies, Textbook Weekly. I keep doing that. Thanks for watching. Please poke subscribe, do that notifications bell if you haven't already. And have yourselves a lovely weekend, people. Cheers. Love you.